This week, Obama goes viral. Lindsay Lohan kisses and tells. And Justin Bieber makes an awful lawyer. I'm Gigi Dubois. And I'm Jason Carter. And this is, is Gossiper. Gossiper. Hey everyone, I'm back in the weekly chair. Gigi, did you miss me? I actually really did, Jason. I so don't believe that. <laughs> so did you watch the video with the strangers kissing? Yeah, actually, it's really hard to avoid. I know, everyone's like, it's so emotional and touching and moving and oh, stuff. Oh, and so natural and breathtaking. Whatever, it's a commercial for a fashion label. Really? That figures. You know, I can't believe anything else I see online anymore. It's like, everything's a joke. Right, and after the twerking fail and the hoverboards, I just assume Jimmy Kimmel is behind everything now. Right? Yeah, okay, okay, so first things first, gotta gossip. Gotta gossip. Top story on Socialite Life this week. Have you guys seen Between Two Ferns with Hangover star Zach Galifianakis? It's a spoof of low-budget cable access shows. Only Galifianakis gets A-list stars to sit with him and answer the idiotic questions he throws at them. It's absolutely uproarious. I loved the Bruce Willis one. Yeah, yeah, well this week, the Funnier Die series landed a guest a few notches above A-list. The A-plus list? More like the VIP list. President Barack Obama sat down with Galifianakis to promote the Affordable Care Act. I'm impressed that he had time to do that. Now, the show is usually about how an idiot host accidentally on purpose insults the guest, but Barry was pretty quick on his feet and gave as good as he got. When Galifianakis asked the president if he was upset about not being able to run for a third term, Obama pointed out that there was a third Hangover movie and that one didn't turn out so well. Ooh, presidential <laughs> burn! Boom. But as Obama himself might say, you could always get that burn looked at thanks to the Affordable Care Act. So we're promoting it too? Mm -hmm. I guess it worked because the stunt and the video got over 5 million views on its first day. And the government is reporting that the video drove more traffic to the ACA site than anything else that day. Wow. Yeah, seriously. The link to Socialite Life's article on this can be found in the description below. And we've also got direct links down there too to both the Obama video and the kissing video. In case you somehow have not seen it. Our top story on the superficial this week. Lindsay Lohan has written a list of all the celebrities she's bang, been. pow, <laughs> kablooey, shablam. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Okay, a list of people she's been extremely friendly <sighs> yes. with. There you go. I got relatives watching G. Here's a quick rundown of the mates we didn't already know about. Jason, I'm going to give you the who, and you're going to tell me what they've done. <laughs> Besides Lindsay. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I've got relatives watching. Fair enough. Okay, anyway, Zach Efron. High School Musical. Perfect. Adam Levine. Maroon 5. Okay, Walking Phoenix. Well, that's easy, her. Awesome. Garrett Hedlund. Yeah, that's a hard one. Pass, pass. I, I, I think he was in Tron. Next, okay, Colin Farrell. Total, to, to, total recall, total recall, total recall. You are correct. And Jamie Dornan. Ah, Fifty Shades of Grey. Ah, perfect. Great job. Tell him what he's won. All right, today Jason's going home with his very own Hands of Adonis sex toy. Really? It's a good deal. It's only been slightly used by Miley Cyrus. Okay, well, in that case, <laughs> thank you. But wait, there's more. <laughs> We're throwing in links to these stories in the description below. Ooh, and if you act now, you'll also get this link to a gallery of sexy Nicki Minaj photos. Oh my God, can Bieber get any worse? Justin Bieber got taped being a major spoiled brat during a court deposition. The case was filed by a photographer who claims Bieber ordered his bodyguards to beat him up. Bieber apparently has very little respect for the US court system. I mean, clearly he's a horrible person, but Biebs has stooped to new lows here. At one point, the court reporter very politely asked him to speak up. Wait, wait, and then he curses at her saying, yes and no are pretty effing different. And then it got super dramatic when the legal man crossed is the line. You got Selena Gomez? Yes. Okay. Don't ask me. That's not right. Buy her again. Let's take a break, Justin. Oh my god, don't ask me about her again! I, I'm done, I'm leaving! Oh, <sighs> such a little baby. Uh, now I wonder if this sparked something bigger because it wasn't long after that that Celebas reported that they were dancing together and playing around. I object. You're not the only one. Apparently not, because those pictures have since been removed from Instagram. El Scandaloso! Scandalo! I put a link below to the full playlist of all the uncut deposition footage. 
So, what do y'all think about this week's top stories? Yeah, what do you think about Bieber's behavior? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to watch more of our top five videos every Tuesday. Most Def, here's some links to some past videos for you to click below. I'm also gonna remind you to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. Please do, and look out next week because Jackie and Sophia are back in the hot seat hosting the recap show. Oh, snap. Mm-hmm, got some competition. Yeah, nothing tops us. I mean, that Jackie, her, her Texas accent is so sexy, though. Oh, but Sophia, she's got that, like, sweet and innocent thing, but, <laughs> but she ain't damn. so sweet and innocent. Oh, not at all. It's a front. I love her, though. I love them both. <laughs> anyway, for Gossiper, I'm Gigi Dubois. And I'm Jason Carter. Later. See you guys later.